Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Cancer. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you today in this weekly reading, I would be really appreciative of it, Cancer, if you were to let me know in the comments below uh, which cards resonate with you and how, because that is how I keep up with you, Cancer, is through the comments, right? Uh, as well, Cancer, I would just like to say if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, uh, I'd be really appreciative of it, Cancer, if you were to take the extra step to support my tarot reading channel by giving this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot and I always am super appreciative of that. And before we get into your weekly tarot reading, Cancer, I just want to remind you to use your intuition, because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended. When it comes to my weekly tarot readings, Cancer, I believe they're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choice in your life, because it is your life to live, not mine, and not these tarot cards, right? So, with all that being said, Cancer, let's just get into your weekly tarot reading. I pulled some cards just so I could right now, uh, just so I could get a general idea, a general gist, honey, of what it is my Cancers are going through right now. So, let's get into this. We have the main card here being the queen of water for you, Cancer. Your card, fitting. Um, I say it's your card because uh, water, right? And you're a water sign. Uh, so let me read off this card. Such deep thoughts right now, right off the bat, not even two minutes in, Valka. <laughs> Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and other people. So, Cancer, you have been in this, and I also wanted to point out you guys got this extra card, the Hermit card that flew out for you guys. Um, so, it does seem to be like, hmm. Cancer, are you in this process of forgiving somebody or moving on from somebody? Uh, because with this, this is like... Because when I hold this Queen of Water, well, I feel like it's like good intentioned. I can't help but feel like a little bit of um, stress or a little bit of uh, resentment on some level. And it makes me wonder what's going on here. Um, especially with the Hermit card coming in paired with this. Uh, it does seem to be like you're taking active steps towards um, making sure you're right. Making sure you're emotionally, mentally, physically right or whatever. You're attending to your, It's like you're putting extra focus on yourself right now. But um, I can't help but feel like you're in this process as well. And maybe it's a, associated with a cancer. I'm trying not to burp in front of you guys if you're wondering why I'm making those weird faces. I did explain the same thing for Scorpio. <laughs> um, it does feel like, though, even though the focus is about taking care of yourself, cancer, it feels like you're almost having to do this because you're pushed to doing this because of some type of situation of some type of pain going on with you. Um, I say this because of your other two cards. Now I want to just point out quickly, right, the water cards, uh, I said this is you, Cancer, and I still feel that way, but uh, cups equal water, the wa uh, water, the the usual words welcome uh the element for uh cups is water so this would technically be the queen of cups and then sword cards equate to air so these would be technically sword cards but we have 10 of air coming in for you the end of a difficult situation embrace the change and expect things to get better now recovering from an addiction right and then you have the eight of air an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So, yeah, this is part of the reason why I just feel like with these two cards right here, uh, Cancer, this is part of the reason why I feel like you were put in this hermiting phase um, because it's like you're in this process of, I don't know, if you're trying to provide closure to yourself in some type of situation of whoever put those swords in you. Um, but I feel like this... I do feel like this Queen of Water Hermit card here really just comes in uh, as like a reactionary thing and not really necessarily like something that you guys necessarily were planning for, right? This is one of those times where it's just like, all right, 
I'm feeling overloaded if I was cancer. Um, it's time for me to step out. I'm gonna close this door, shut out the blinds, lock the doors, turn off my phone, don't contact me for the rest of the week, uh, sort of thing, right? Uh, because you're just in this process of um, taking things in. It's like you're trying to be more and more present with what's going on in your life. And the more that you're present with it, the more that you have to um, unpack with yourself, the more um, pain that you, I, I am gonna just like associate it with pain because I do just get a lot of, um, like you're taking it in stride, Cancer. Even though you're having to uh, recluse a little bit, you are definitely taking this in stride. Um, but I do feel like this is like a Cancer, I can't help but feel like you're feeling wounded at this time cancer and it's such a it's an interesting dynamic to just be connecting to because it's just such a it's a bummer right what happened <laughs> uh so something i want to look at here though is this eight of air so for some of you cancers maybe you're trying to figure out what it is that you you're in this reclusive space right but now during this time while you're trying to be present with your emotions and just going through all that, digesting them, right? Uh, you're trying to figure out your exit plan, figuring out what it is that you need to do to get out of this situation, to move on from this pain. For some of you guys, you feel like you're stuck in it because you can't get that closure that you feel so desperately that you need from somebody, right? Especially with those 10 of swords, uh, that 10 of air. I know in this deck, it doesn't really show the artwork of like swords it's actually just unicorns <laughs> so it doesn't really uh give justice to like the pain this is uh usually associated with but i do want to point out that it is talking about the end of a difficult situation right because one tens i usually associate with the completion of a cycle of some sort and plus i mean the card itself says it right cancer so it does seem like um you're kind of just figuring out your next move here uh, you're figuring out your next move and maybe for some of you cancers, you just feel like you're just stuck until you address the situation. And so I'm not going to harp on it for too much longer, cancer, because I feel like you guys kind of got that message. But I just want to, um, I just want to point out, cancer, that, um, don't be in this state for too long. Uh, and this is just, at this point, the cards aren't saying this, this is just my own, uh, thing. Because whenever I see that Hermit card, especially with all these other emotions, and especially with those air cards, um, I feel like you could very easily, well, not you in specific, Cancer, but this is usually the, the dynamic, because I read so many tarot cards, right? Uh, and plus with this deck in specific, I've been using this deck for over 10 years. So I have like my own language with them. And usually, especially with this deck, when I've pulled the cards coming up in such a way, uh, with the air cards being associated with emotions, whenever I pull a bunch of air cards, I'm always just like, mm, what's going on uh, mentally? And then with the emotions, high emotions here with that queen of water and that hermit card, this is just such a recipe of um, a potential spiral. <laughs> and I'm saying this just because, honey, like, <laughs> I probably could have pulled this set up for myself like a week ago. Heck, I probably could have just shuffled it for myself right now, right? So I'm not saying this from a judgmental place, Cancer. This is more so just me being like, hey, I've been down this road, honey. I see many people go down this road, right? Be It's okay for you what it is you're doing right now. But have an exit plan. That's just the one thing I really want to stress to you guys right now, Cancer. Is just have an exit plan. When you're going through this heavy shadow work, when you're going through this heavy just digestion of tough things to swallow in your life, especially if you're not able to get that closure um, from other things and other people in your life, it's very easy to get yourself caught up. So just going to say, leave it at that, Cancer. Um, I do want to pull a little bit more clarification, though. So give me a moment as I set up these cards, Cancer, for you. So we have the Hanged Man coming in here with the Devil card. And then the Two of Wands, confirming to me. Um, what I was saying before, where it's just like, you're in this hermiting phase. I do feel like you are thinking about an exit plan. Um, and... It's really looking like you're trying to do it, like you're debating on doing a really huge pivotal uh, move or a like decision. So, because with this 
with this dynamic honey this is such a chaotic energy which i love personally but this is very dramatic as well because with the hanged man and the devil card now you can see this devil as an individual in your life it's impossible for me to really see this as that in this dynamic because i do i'm just so heavy on uh just addressing yourself and the self um but it does seem to be like you're trying to get away from this devil whether it's a bad habit whether it's a person um it's heavy energy hanged man you're trying to do things different you don't want this devil situation anymore and that's why i'm getting just like this heavy like it's almost like for, i mean i'm just going to use like an example just to like um give you like an idea of like energy of these cards cancer it'd be like as if like one day cancer you are now just like taking everything in and realizing like how um toxic like a relationship an abusive relationship is for you and kind of moving on from it and just being like you know what i don't want any of that anymore or like a toxic work environment or something that just was really just draining you of your energy and giving you that ten of swords uh situation with that eight of swords right you do feel stuck in the situation so it'd be so fitting for like a job or like a close knit thing like that where it's not just like an easy like just closing the door and blocking and being done there's history here um i just do get the sense that you're thinking about doing a huge move thinking about really making a big move and drastically changing your life now i just want to say uh because like i'm very uh motive right i just want to say i know it can kind of sounding like i'm like uh nervous for you but i'm not it's more so me kind of being in awe and being like oh wow this is some bold energy honey <laughs> like i'm not going to be surprised if we see like a tower card coming in here but if it is coming in here it's by your own decision right this is just such a chaotic energy uh cancer but i just i personally love it but now let's get into uh those are the cards that we had for you just for your journey up until this point cancer now let's see uh what's going to be going on for you this week one more card so for you this week we have going on the king of swords knight of pentacles with this eight of swords following you You're in this process of really, like you definitely, Cancer, have a goal in mind of getting out of this Eight of Swords. Whatever this is, you do, this is a situation, whatever the situation that you're trying to escape from, you definitely feel like there's a lot of things attached to this. This is not going to be an easy thing um, for you to transition from, for you to move on from. But I see you really trying your heart. This probably explains why you're thinking so critically about this cancer, because it's just like, you don't want anything to do with this old energy anymore. And just, it's, it bums me out because it's like, um, with this eight of swords, I'm just like, dang, like you feel really stuck in this situation that's just so toxic for you. I know toxic is such an overused word, especially in the spiritual community, but I really do get the sense that it's just like something that just is really damaging for your mental health, um, cancer, that you're trying to escape from. Uh, maybe this could be a dynamic of some of my cancers really trying to, I do just get the sense of trying to move, right? Especially with the Knight of Pentacles, this is movement. Um, this would be a very good card about uh, trying to just move, physically take yourself to a new area, right? Um, yeah, so this could be easily a dynamic of like some of my cancers that live with family uh, kind of been, had like the last straw uh, with like a family member being like, all right, I need to move out. And, you know, and you're just kind of having to stomach and realizing just like how, yeah, it just feels like you're having to just stomach how, not some not good something is in your life and king of swords comes to me where it's showing to me it does show this like uh cancer you're coming to terms with the situation i do feel like this has just been like a progressive thing for you cancer that this isn't a decision this isn't something that you realized overnight at all so let's pull some more clarifiers see if we can get any more detail on this all right so we have coming in for you, Cancer, the Chariot card. 
the Knight of Swords, and then the Three of Wands. <clears throat> so, it seems to be like you're making this decision rather quickly. Like, mm -mm. It's like for some of you Cancers, you're waiting for a trigger to be pulled. Like, no, not a trigger to be pulled. Um, it's like you're waiting for the one thing to kind of just set you off and like be like the nail in the coffin for you to commit to some type of decision, right? Once you see a, like that final sign, like once there's that final straw or something, Cancer, I just see you kind of being like, all right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Right? And then you uh, put distance between you and the situation. Um, and you kind of just move on from this, right? With the Knight of Swords coming in, this really is just emphasizing just like... <sighs> the Knight of Swords, one, it signifies as just fast, like it's the fastest moving knight, um, where it's like the signification, like whenever you see the Knight of Swords, you can kind of, there's something following it shortly behind it. Does that make sense? And the chariot card is the, you know, I like to say is like the spiritual uber, right? So two very fast forward moving cards um, with that three of wands. Yeah, you're just waiting for the sign. You're waiting for the thing to pull the trigger, waiting for the one thing to give you a reason to pull the trigger and just like all this stuff that you've been planning in that hermiting phase and all this, you know, it's like a lot of you cancers probably have been in this process of biting your tongue for quite some time um and but yeah like once you get that sign then you're just gonna be like all right game time it's like we're done here I'm done washing hands clean and just keeping it moving so uh yeah cancer very interesting energies with this what i would say the only thing i would give advice on cancer i mean i already said before don't sit in that uh, hermiting energy too much but i mean I'm not going to stress on it too much, especially with that Knight of Swords coming in, the Knight of Pentacles, like all those Knights really, uh, that we pulled after and the cards we pulled after was a nice refresher for me. <laughs> y'all listen to me. It's like, I'm so invested in y'all's future. Um, it's a really good sign to me that you guys aren't going to be stuck in that situation or in that hermiting phase for too long. So that's good. Uh, the only thing I can really say that I would give advice on for y'all is to, um, Honestly, I don't really feel like I have much of any advice. It seems like you guys kind of have like this game plan already set in motion, right? You don't really, you kind of, you see things clearly already, Cancer. So let's just close out your reading, I guess, now, Cancer, with some Oracle cards. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna pull two Moon Oracle, moon oracle cards. I don't know why I was jumbling my words there, as well as two Animal Oracle cards. So we're going to start with the Animal Oracle cards for you first, Cancer. You have the Penguin card. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. 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 <laughs> um, I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory, right? Um, I feel like this is kind of attached to that Knight of Swords Chariot energy. And then you have the Goose card. Take time to rest and recuperate rather than continu continuing your striving. Okay, yeah. So what I would say, uh, Cancer, is during this time, while you're waiting for a sign to, because I do feel like a sign, like you're going to be given a very, in a very, a very apparent sign on when it's time to pull that trigger, right? You don't have to really be too watchful of it like when it comes you're not gonna miss it sort of thing so at this time take this moment to just kind of reset take this time to um you know see if you can revise your plans any because there definitely is this underlying uh impression through tarot cancer for you this week that there is some editing that can be involved here like you have the right mindset but maybe your approach could use some fine-tuning if that makes sense uh you have the third quarter moon adjustments are required right part of the reason why i say this right and then you have the full moon in sagittarius cancer which says look at the bigger picture so yeah such an emphasis you guys on just getting a little bit more detail because i can't help but feel like if you had a little bit more detail how you would be going about things would be uh would be slightly different again i don't want you to think cancer that you're making the wrong decision i don't feel like you're making the wrong decision and you're definitely like honey like y'all cancer are the first people that i've ever had to just be like okay like i don't feel like i need to say anything right i don't feel like i need to babble and give my <laughs> advice 
So, and I actually somehow got these two extra cards for you, Cancer. I did not pull these. I guess I, I mean, I guess I had to, but I don't remember pulling these ever. You got the Balsamic Moon, A Time for Healing, as well as Mutable Moon, Nothing is Yet Set in Stone. Hmm. Interesting. Y'all gonna have to let me know, Cancer, what this is about. I do feel like it's about the same situation, but it's such an interesting message where it's just kind of like, you don't know all the facts with something, Cancer. Um, very interesting. <laughs> very interesting note to end on. But uh, yeah, Cancer, that's the tarot cards that I have for you today for this weekly reading for you, Cancer. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Cancer, I do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Cancer. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not into tarot, uh, Cancer, I'd be really appreciative of it if you were to share my video with them and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, Cancer, I love you so much.